welcome to the channel now in today's video we are going to answer your questions that you had on the video that i posted a year back and in that video i showed you how you can install your custom hit sync on a motherboard that doesn't have one so what i did by the way you can go back and check that video i will leave the link in the description so what I did in that video is I showed you how to use your custom hit sync that you may be having lying around uh, any old motherboard or anything that has a hit sync uh, which is not useful anymore. So you can just take out that hit sync, shape it according to your uh, hit sync uh, VRM section design, and you can use a hit sync glue to paste it, and that will definitely give you better temperatures. If you are using high-end CPUs so that is something I did in that video and after doing that we did see that uh, by, by measuring temperatures in the front side of the motherboard we did see that we get around 30 degrees Celsius of a temperature difference but then many of you have suggested to check the temperatures not in the front but on the back side of the motherboard VRM section and that is exactly what we are going to do in this today's video. So uh, first of all I want to uh, tell you that I am using Cinebench R20 to give load to the CPU so that we can uh, see how much uh, the temperatures are on our VRM because we need some load on the CPU to check that. So I am just using Cinebench R20 for it. Uh, now if you can see. Uh, if I check the temperatures in the front side of the motherboard, the temperature reading is around between maybe 60, 70, 75 degrees Celsius uh, in that range. And uh, if you can notice, uh, we get a little bit higher temperatures as we go on the top side of the heatsink section, the VRM section. But that's okay. Now, if we go and check the, the temperatures on the back side you can see the the result is a little bit more we are getting around I think 10 degrees more temperature on the back side of the VRM because and that is okay because we are we are directly measuring the temperatures on the VRM there is no heat sink in between and I totally agree with you guys you were correct the temperatures will be different but not that much around 10 degrees so even though if the temperatures are like 10 degrees hotter on this side we are still okay because we are using 2700x on this motherboard and 70 80 degrees is very good temperatures on VRM I I hope you also agree on that if you agree if you if you like it if you want to discuss anything just go to the comment section and just discuss if this helps you and also like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, see you next time so till then bye